Hi, boys and girls, girls and boys. Hey, this is Mr. Dean here with you, and you know what? I have got a fantastic book. A fantastic book. It's called Cody Steals the Blanket. It's a Ute tale, and it's by Janet Stevens. In this book, you see this coyote? Does he look like he's tired? Boys and girls, I'm telling you what. This coyote has been running for a long time. Now, let me tell you what happens in this book. The coyote thinks he's so smart that nobody can tell him anything. So he's running through the, the desert and he says, Oh, I should be the king of the desert because I'm smarter than everybody else. And the hummingbird, there's a hummingbird out there and, and it's a girl hummingbird. And she comes to him and says, Mr. Coyote, you, it'd be smarter for you to take the high road. And the coyote said, Oh, you old stupid bird, you don't know nothing. So she flies off and he runs off. And, and, and so she catches up to him and, he said, and she tells him, so Mr. Coyote, there's some beautiful blankets up ahead of you, but don't mess with any of them now because, you know, you ain't supposed to mess with other people's stuff. And the coyote said, oh, you old stupid bird, you don't know nothing. So he goes up there, and there's some blankets laying on some rocks up there. And the coyote got to look around, and he said, now I know the hummingbird told me don't take any of these blankets, but he looks around. He says, there ain't nobody out here. That'd make me a beautiful coat. So he, so he snatched one of them, and he started running. Oh, my goodness, boys and girls. The coyote should have listened to the hummingbird. Well, he goes to running, and he hears something rumble, 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 rumble. And he looks behind him, and there's a rock following him, a big old boulder. And it's running, and it's coming, it's rolling down the, after him. And so he runs, 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 runs as fast as he can. And he, can't, he gets tired, and he lays down, and the rock's still coming. He looks back, and he says, oh, my goodness, that rock's going to crush me if I don't keep running. So he runs, runs, runs. He runs past a mule deer, got big old antlers. And he says, hey, Mr. Mule Deer, could you help me out? There's a, there's a rock after me, and you got big old antlers on your head, and I know you can stop the rock. Can you help me? And the Mule Deer says, oh, man, I can help you. Go, on, go ahead on. I'll take care of you. And so he puts his old head down, and his antlers are all out there like that, and the rock comes up there. Oh, my God. Boys and girls find out what happens to the Mule Deer. And so... The, the coyote looks back and he sees the rock still coming after him. So he runs and runs. He, he's so tired he can't hardly stand it. And then he's afraid the rock's going to crush him. And so he looks up on the hill and there's a big horn sheep. Got big old horns, big wide horns. And they come around like this. I know you've seen them before. And he says, hey, Mr. Can you help me out? Can you, can you take your big strong legs and can you stop that rock from coming at, after me? And the big horn sheep says, oh, man, I'll take care of you because you're my buddy. Go ahead on. I'll take care of you. So he turns around and find out what happens to the big horn sheep, the sheep with the big old horns that comes around like this. Find out what happens to him. And finally, the coyote has run so much he can't run anymore. And so the hummingbird says, uh-huh, I told you. Leave, leave the blanket alone. He said, well, you know what? I'll, I'll, you're probably right. I should have left the blanket alone. So the hummingbird, he said, Mr. Miss, uh, hummingbird, can you help me out? She said, yeah, I'll help you out, but you got to leave the blanket alone. He said, okay, I'll, I'll give the blanket, blanket back to the rock. And she said, okay, so find out what happens then. The rock keeps coming. See what she does. See if she starts beating her wings so hard that it causes a tornado and stops the rock from coming. See if she's flapping her wings so hard, it causes a rainstorm to come, and it washes big old uh, water washes a big gully where the rock can't go down in it. Or find out if the rock rolls up on the coyote's tail, and he can't go anywhere. Find out what happens then. Find out if the if if that happens. Find out what he, the the coyote tells the hummingbird he's going to do. See if he gives the blanket back. See if it flattens his tail like it's a beaver's tail. Find out if the if the rock gets off of it. See if the hummingbird can help him get his tail back fluffed up again. See if he goes off with the blanket again and see what happens to him then. Or see if he get, if he gives the rock back the blanket and everything ends good so hey get this book it's called coyote steals the blanket it's a ute tale by janet stevens and find out what happens to this old coyote find out what happens to the hummingbird the rock the bighorn sheep and the mule deer so hey boys and girls this is mr dean thanks for joining me for another mr dean's outdoor reading adventures